Hey everybody, welcome to our very first episode of our new series, Business on the Blockchain. I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF, and in this series, we're going to be going over some well-established businesses that are dipping their toes into the blockchain space, as well as some projects that have left their fundraising stage and have actual projects up and running. This oncoming blockchain revolution is coming, and business and commerce will not be exempt from its effects. It has the potential to fundamentally change several industries. And that's what today's project, or more accurately, Alliance, is a perfect example of this oncoming change. The Enterprise Ethereum Alliance connects Fortune 500 enterprises, startups, academics, and technology vendors with Ethereum experts. The Enterprise Ethereum Alliance connects Fortune 500 enterprises, startups, academics, and technology vendors with Ethereum experts. Businesses saw this interesting technology called Ethereum and its smart contracts which are just programmable contracts in which different terms can be defined. This technology is especially promising because it can remove third-party trust, potentially, from the equation, allowing two parties to work directly by trusting smart contracts instead of a third party. You're basically taking third parties out of this equation using smart contracts and saving everyone else money in the process. The only issue with this is that there are no set standards for these smart contracts. Of course, as long as the parties agree to terms, they can utilize this technology for commerce, but the Alliance is trying to standardize smart contract requirements. This should allow for frictionless business transactions. Since smart contract technology is so new, a major goal would be getting legal recognition for these smart contracts. This could give even more businesses a push towards adopting blockchain technology. Ethereum's intrinsically trusted system is the most promising solution for enterprise blockchain adoption, given its maturity and multi-purpose design. It's been around for a few years now and offers stability that not all cryptocurrencies have. While Ethereum is a public blockchain, the EEA is focused on private blockchain applications. Companies store so much data and often they don't want to make that data that public for privacy or financial reasons. This makes public blockchains an unrealistic option for enterprise. The technology has been tried and tested in the form of many different projects over the past few years. Additionally, all of the projects built by the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance members will be open source and ready to be used by the entire community. And like any alliance, its relevance is directly tied to its members, and they have quite a few well-known institutions as members looking towards building on the Ethereum blockchain. Ever heard of Consensus, CME Group, Cornell University, Toyota, Samsung, Microsoft, Intel, JP Morgan, Deloitte, Accenture, Banco Santander, BNY Mellon, ING, and the National Bank of Canada? And those were just for starters. The alliance has now expanded to well over 200 members, creating a promising ecosystem for business on the blockchain. The Alliance has divided itself into several working groups designed to focus on industry-specific implementations. The largest is the banking industry, although there are several non-financial uses being explored as well. Banks are looking towards the Ethereum blockchain to help them create a compliant regulatory framework via the network. Partnerships are already being fostered in this space, and we've seen some banks cooperate in order to build smart contract templates that could be these banks' first step towards blockchain technology. Several of these industries have data they want to keep secure. Entities ranging from insurance companies to university have lots of data that they want to keep secure. They are turning to blockchain for data permanence and data security. Additionally, you have major manufacturers and distributors specifically looking at Ethereum use cases for the supply chain in order to address traditional pain points and create a more frictionless distribution system. And the legal industry has recognized the potential of smart contracts and are looking to create standards around the technology so they can eventually be implemented. The legal and business landscape around blockchain is still forming, but with organizations like the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, people active in the Ethereum community are given an avenue to shape the regulation around this new technology. There are power in numbers 
a fact that EEA certainly knows. And that's our first episode of Business on the Blockchain. If you have any questions about EEA, what they do, what they are, who's involved, throw those down below in the comments. If you like the video, be sure to leave us a like. It really helps us out. And subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Business on the Blockchain episodes. This has been Jeremy from Blockchain.WTF. I'll see you next time.